This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Believe it or not, we're going to begin this lesson in Photoshop. This is not a class on Photoshop. I just want to show you what I've done. I have this image of a bust. It's got all those white areas around it. If you know anything about Photoshop, you know that I can select those white areas and get rid of them, create transparency, save it, move it into Final Cut Pro, got no problem. But I want to show you the concept of what's called an alpha channel. We'll do it on a still. You can also use videos to do this. So you've got a lot of control over what you see and what you don't see. In Photoshop, if I come over here to my channels, I made that channel. Now, again, this is not a class on Photoshop. I'm not going to explain how I did it, but that's what's being saved with the image. What is an alpha channel? Well, remember, channels are layers that create the final image when they're combined. And most video clips and stills have three color channels, red, green, and blue. And the color channels combine to create all the other colors you see in the clip. However, you can have a fourth channel, the alpha channel. And what it's saying is, Show me the white areas, get rid of the black when I bring this into Final Cut Pro. That's what we're doing. With all that done, I've already saved it. Let's click back here and bring Final Cut Pro back in. Let's start with an image. Let's kind of drag something down like this. And there it is right here. I already moved it over. I'm going to drag it down on top and watch what happens. The white areas are automatically gone. Understand these mats can even be animated. There's a lot of potential for creating them. It is not necessary to force an image into transparency. The alpha channel, how did it know this? Final Cut Pro, when it sees an alpha channel, assumes that's what you want to do. If we come up here, let's go ahead and select it. And we come up to the word modify and go down to alpha type right there, right under our composite mode we've been using. If I go none, it'll treat it just like you saw it in Photoshop. If I go back again and modify it again, let's go back to what it's defined as a straight alpha channel. It works. There might be one problem that's not that difficult to solve. Black and white. Black is the area that's being masked. White is the area that I see. So I see the bus because that area in the mask was white. Let's make an assumption. And this can happen. Let's assume that you got your colors reversed. You put black for the bust and white for the other area, which means you see a big white area and the bust is a hole that you're looking through. Do you really need to go back into the originating program and make a change? Now, try this. Right-click your mouse on that image and go into Item Properties and select Format right here. Lots of stuff going on. Concentrate right down here where it says Alpha Straight. Right-click your mouse, you can change it right here. But here's the other one, reverse the alpha. If I come over here and right-click and say yes, see, now I've got a hole through it. So if your colors are mixed up, if you got a black instead of a white, it's really not that big of a deal, especially in video. It's easy to change, go back to Photoshop and change this. But if you've got alpha masks on videos, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to do. Reverse it again, right-click your mouse, say no. And we're back in business again. Alpha channels on stills or even in videos created with other programs like QuickTime are a real advantage to making special effects and making things go away in Final Cut Pro.